Moonstruck, how did that change? Did that change the trajectory of your career even more? Um, after yeah, I that? mean, you know, that's a different kind of success. Yeah. Uh, in that, uh, you know, I had worked uh, almost exclusively in theater till that point. Uh, and, uh, uh, and also, you know, the amount of the number of people who saw Danny in the Deep Blue Sea. I mean, I made $5,000 in royalties from Danny in the Deep Blue Sea in its first run. Well, you know, it's just, you know, a small theater, a mm-hmm. bunch of people come, but not that many people. Right. And then, you know, the play closes after, I don't know, two months, three months, and then on with the, you know, the next thing. If, if you did that and did nothing else in a year, nobody would ever think of you again. Right. Uh, and then you do Moonstruck, and it is a global hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, you know, you, you're, fa- and you can never comprehend that. You never understand that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, then I, you know, I started to make uh, a lot mm-hmm. more money. And I uh, uh, ended up, you know, directing a, a big film, Joe versus the Volcano, with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan, and produced by Steven Spielberg. And, Kathy Kennedy and Frank Marshall, uh, and had that experience. I keep getting to have experiences that I didn't particularly uh, think that I would ever get to have. You know, they mm-hmm. seemed like pipe dreams. I didn't particularly want to direct a movie. I wasn't mm-hmm. interested in it. I didn't even go to the movies that much. Uh, and then I was faced with uh, poverty. And I'm like, okay, well, then I guess I better go into this medium. And then once I started to investigate, I'm like, well, this is a really interesting way to tell a story. It's different. And I like it. I like to use these materials because there's stories I'd like to tell that I can't tell in a play form. I need need another way to do that. And so that opened up a, a lot of artistic doors in me of different ways to write about things, which provided ventilation for me from theater. Because if you just do theater and do theater and do theater, that becomes a trap too. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite piece of work that you've written, whether a play or, or, um, or a film, like something that you um, is probably more special than any of the other ones? I don't know. You know, I mean, you, you, these memories get colored mm-hmm. by the reception Right. Uh, and uh, I'm, I remember thrilling moments like when I did the dress rehearsal, an invited dress rehearsal for Beggars in the House of Plenty. Mm-hmm. That was one of the most exciting things I ever did. That was in a 99 seat house, uh, and Dana Ivey and Laura Linney uh, and, uh, and John Tenney uh, and Lauren Dean uh, and Daniel Von Bargen. And it was. Electrifying. That's the only word I can use for it. And the, I was using techniques I hadn't used before. I was writing about my family. I was, uh, this, the, Santa LaQuasto did the scene design and did this especially brilliant uh, job. Uh, and it all, it came together and it was a thrilling uh, uh, achievement, really. Mm-hmm. And achievements are things that happen on a day. You know, uh, winning the Academy Award was an achievement that I had on a day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you go on, you know, you, you climb to the top of the mountain, you go like, I'm at the top of the mountain. And then you go like, OK, I got to go down now. Yeah. <laughs> What's the day after the Academy Awards like? It's sort of like that. Well, yeah, it's kind of aimless. <laughs> I, always, I always think about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wonder, because that day is so big, I wonder what the next day is like. Oh, it's just aimless, yeah. you know? <laughs> I remember a photographer came to me the next day. I was staying at the Chateau Marmont. He came to me the next day and said, I wonder if I could take a picture of you with the Academy Award. I said, okay. And so we went down to the swimming pool, and I think I was, like, sitting on the diving board or something, and he took a picture I'm not sure I ever saw the picture. Hmm. I heard that it was up on the wall of the Chateau Mama for many years after that, until hmm. their refurbishment, I guess. Uh, and but it was I was like, okay, somebody gave me something to do because I got nothing to do. To <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so funny. A lot of calls, I'm assuming, after that started to come in to direct more things, or um... Um, uh, well, actually, no, it was writer skill strike. Oh, wow. so I couldn't work. Huh. Which might have been a mercy, yeah. you know, 
Uh, Spielberg called me. I didn't know it all. He called me out of the blue. He said, hi, is this John Shanley? I said, yeah. He said, this is Steven Spielberg. I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. If only on the phone. Uh, and he said, you know, I read this screenplay you wrote, Joe versus the Volcano. I think it's terrific. I said, well, thank you. He said, I understand you want to direct it. I don't remember ever saying that. I said, uh, yeah. And he said, I think that's a great idea. And I was like, I hung up the phone and I said to my wife, I think my life just changed.